अब देखिए देखिए अब अब आ रहा है नहीं नहीं मुझे मेरा कैमरा सब दिख रहा है अब मेरा तो ये चालू ये दिखा रहा है कि मैं तो चालू हूं मैं लाइव हूं ऑलरेडी पांच लोग हैं जो अच्छा ठीक ओके All right. Uh, so, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, not much of the audience uh, today, uh, unfortunately, because probably uh, yesterday they thought that. Uh, so now uh, people are coming, joining. Okay. All right. Let them come. Only fourteen people. So let them come. Maybe. perfect so we still have 2 minutes probably that is the reason that you know they will come on time uh yes now people are coming okay good so um, i think feedback is that you know most of you can hear me so once again good afternoon to all of you today is the topic is that you know uh, what are the things which we should do in the covid times and what are the things which we should not do and why because many a times uh, this i requested that you know the region should be given because many a times most of you because all are at least graduates so uh, you must have heard or seen on news papers new channels and everywhere that these are the do's and don'ts but uh, we have realized in many of the uh, interactions that many of the students young students they don't have the idea that why we should do and why we should not do that but before that i would like to uh, give a glimpse of the uh, disease and what is this virus and why this disease is known as covid 19 the virus belongs to corona viridi and it has about uh, 24 uh, more than 24 viruses in the uh, family and there are then subfamilies and classes and there are groups which are alpha beta gamma delta four uh, you know uh, types or groups are there and this uh, corona virus belongs to a beta sub family and uh, what is uh, uh, the beta family because it has uniqueness that these viruses they usually infect the lungs and that's the reason that you know out of the six uh, viruses in this family one virus is uh, the bat uh, covid or corona bat corona from where actually it came the another one is which are uh, three four which are important i will tell you two are not very important so uh, the another one is sars i am uh, sure that some of you must have heard about this sars severe acute respiratory syndrome uh this disease is started in 2012 and 13 and uh, of course the fatality means uh, mortality rate was very high but uh, it it couldn't it was controlled in early stages and it could not spread to that extent but it still cases keep on coming and uh, being noted uh, world over 
the uh, another virus in the uh, class is uh, the MERS virus, M-E-R-S. The previous one is S-A-R-S. The uh, this M-E-R-S is MERS. So M stands for middle, E for east, and respiratory R respiratory and syndrome. So middle east respiratory syndrome virus. So that also came around one year, back, uh, you know, later than the SARS around. Uh, 2013 and 14. Uh, fortunately, uh, none of these viruses they could make that impact because they were uh, controlled in early stages because infectivity was uh, not that high. Only three cases in Gujarat they were noted of the MERS virus and very few of the SARS. Unfortunately, uh, this virus, this is also Corona, as I said, but this has very unique features it is highly highly infectious you know unprecedented infectivity which no other virus even the flu which is considered to be highly infectious it is even more than uh, that and uh, second thing is that it is comparatively if you compare the infectivity of the influenza it is highly infectious but also it has mortality more than influenza on the contrary if you compare with the SARS and MERS they are more fatal means uh, the death will be more about 20 more than 20 percent in those viruses but the infectivity is very poor but here it is highly infectious and if you compare with the influenza of the same uh, you know potency of the infectivity if you see this is uh, comparatively uh, carries more mortality now more means here that usually the mortality in most of these viruses as i said other than sars and mers it is less than 1% here also it is about 1 to 3% but in adults it is a good thing that in usually immunocompetent normal adult patients the mortality is less than 1% here also but the average is why it reaches around 3%, the reason being that in the old age and those patients who are having some other morbidity like diabetes or hypertension or cardiac disease or renal disease, if they are having you know, any immunosuppressive drugs like corticosteroid and other things, then in these cases, the mortality is as high as 20% or even more. So obviously less than percent and the more than 20%, so average if you take it comes around three percent we know that globally more than uh, 27 lakhs right now the the updating you know every hour the figure is increasing unfortunately so more than 27 lakhs people they have got infected as of today uh, afternoon and the highest uh, the death number of death is seen in usa more than 40,000 people they have died followed by Italy, more than 22,000, then Spain, around 21,000, then UK and you know other countries. So that is very, very peculiar and it is people are dying like anything, never before, people noted. So one, obviously the region becomes important to understand that it is highly infectious and of course, if the people are having any other disease, underlying disease, but in medical terms, we call it comorbidities. In layman language, we can say other underlying diseases. These patients are highly, highly vulnerable. And what happens that the virus reaches directly to the lungs and causes disease, microvascular uh, hemorrhages. Now, coming with that, this little introduction, so what we should do to prevent, ideally one can say that we should have the treatment, we should have the vaccine, but obviously we don't have right now. So there is no treatment as of now, of sure. There are some medicines, they are not for this virus, but they are for other diseases, but they are being used for prophylaxis because some of these studies they have shown that they have some some effect and they protect to some extent 
I am saying some extent. They are not actually drugs for this disease or this virus. So the coronavirus or novel coronavirus 2019 or the disease which is known as COVID-19 is different. Therefore, without any treatment and without any vaccine, what is the best method of managing it? The prevention. Therefore, you must prevent it. And for prevention, as I said, you must understand that it is not a bacteria, it is a virus, it is a RNA virus, about very minute 120 uh, nanometer virus, RNA virus. So obviously it replicates whenever it gets uh, into the body of uh, whether it is an animal or uh, humans. But the important thing is that how to prevent it, one should also understand that what is the mode of transmission, how it is traveling. From China, within one month, it reached to all corners of the world. More than 200 countries, they have already reported the virus. So this is probably the fastest. Some of you, uh, maybe, I don't know, some of the students might be interested. I am always in the medical uh, you know, history, uh, my passion is. So if you see in uh, 1918, there was a great, what we call uh, great influenza. Spanish influenza so that killed almost similar kind of uh, people and it uh, fortunately it remained uh, confined to America and Mexico and all these countries it was not uh, never came to this area the reason being that 1800 1918 epidemic of the influenza and 2020 epidemic of the coronavirus that these days we travel a huge the whole globe if you see millions of the people they are I mean, right now of course they are not but otherwise and normally millions of the people are there in the sky at any given time at any given time so people are mixing from this side to that side east west north south from everywhere not within the country but outside country also and that was the reason that very fastly from Wuhan city, which is in China, it reached to Europe because most of the students, they study Chinese students, they study in European countries these days. And from Europe, it reached to USA. So it was very fast. Now, to understand why it was so very fast, it is very important to understand. And then only you can understand that why we should use the hand hygiene and the masks. The reason is that, you know, uh, it, as I said in the beginning, that it infects the lungs. And obviously from lungs, whatsoever comes out, it will have a lot of viruses, huge number of viruses. So whether you are talking or sneezing or coughing, you may or may not be having any symptom. Usually the typical sy symptom where the patient need to be admitted is that there is, uh, the person should have cough, a fever and breathlessness, what we call sans lene me taklif. So these are the cardinal signs of the COVID disease. But there are about 50% of the patient, those who will not have any symptoms, but they will be excreting the virus in their uh, air. They are, you know, taking out or throwing out or sneezing out. So therefore, what happens that, you know, when you speak, or you sneeze or cough, there are droplets, small, small droplets, very minute drops, which you can see only, I, I don't know, some of you might have seen that you cough or take your breath in the uh, winter months. I'm sure you have taken your breath, then you will have seen it in the cold, so you will see that the breath is coming from your mouth. Those are the droplets. So in these droplets, the, the nucleus is the virus. And these droplets, they, you know, they fall on the ground usually, but depending on the, uh, the direction of the air, it can go right, left or back, or, you know, it can push it forward. Usually these droplets in countries like, you know, in India where air is hot and humid, the, the droplets, they will fall around three feet, you know, away from your mouth or, you know, nose so three feet means about one meter 
but again as i said depending on the velocity and the direction of the air it can go up to 2 3 meter also not 1 meter only therefore the what we call it social distancing but i will prefer not social distancing but physical distancing therefore it is very important number 1 you should not have the mixing of the crowd number 1 so social distancing you must maintain number 1 number 2 masks so you need to what happens that these droplets you must stop at the stage of they are in the environment so within your nose or within your mouth you should contain these for that what is important that what you should do you should wear masks and ordinary masks not the n95 masks which are required for the healthcare workers any clothes but the condition is that this mask or cloth whatsoever it is it should be applied throughout it is not that you are talking at that time you have covered half of the mouth or whole mouth but not the nose or nose but not the mouth no because sans to aapki naak se aur se dono se aati hai therefore it is very very important that you know whenever you, whenever you are wearing a mask you must cover your mouth as well as nose this is very very important you must not number two if you are wearing mask you should not take it off and on and off and you should not touch your inside of your mask and then outside of your mask or other parts of the body the idea is that whatsoever is droplets or contaminated material or the from the air is coming it is filtered out from the mask but it is equally important that you should not have any you know connection with the mouth during if you are infected presuming and the other things so hand one is air which is very important because air you breathe it will come out and it will bring the virus with the droplets number two if you are not having the mask you are not wearing the mask then you often you do like that or you touch your mouth and your obviously the mouth or nose they are already contaminated here and we don't have sneezing or coughing etiquettes which you will cough or you know you will sneeze in the front of enemy or on the face of anybody so therefore uh, it is important that uh, you should not touch your mouth your nose or eyes means mucosa the it is highly highly penetrable through mucosa so mucosa what we call you know red you know any red skin but we can say that is known as uh, those who are not from the medical background it is called as mucosa so mucosa obviously it gives easy entry of any virus not only corona but any virus so they will enter very quickly in that so then it is important that even if you are wearing the mask because somebody else might have touched any inanimate surface Inanimate means कोई भी निर्जीव वस्तु अगर आपके पास है means table है chair है या pen है mobile है इनको कभी भी दूसरे की चीज को मत touch कीजिए pen भी मत लीजिए किसी का because usually the pen because you are a student most of the audience is students therefore I re-emphasize that pen laptop the mobile these things they are highly highly risky so don't share with each other because they can have you might not be knowing that your friend might be having infection and he or she might be excreting this virus and she or he might have taken from mouth to her or his bag then mobile or pen or the books surface you know uh, glossy surfaces and then you also touch the same thing and then obviously knowingly or unknowingly you might also you know carry this virus infection to your mucosa three mucosa as i said so this is very important that why you should hand sanitize because after touching any surface of the non-living or living any if you are touching anybody 
or you are touching any table computer laptop the mobile pen telephone or anything please hand sanitize with the alcohol based but preferably the best method is you wash your hands because this as i said it is a corona like virus it is a rna virus but it has a lipid layer so the layer lipid layer uh, some of the biochemistry students and uh, pharmacy students they must be knowing that you know lipids are very easily dissolved in the soap so soap will be the best option to so wash your hands after touching any non living thing or any surface with soap and water take time wash your hand properly many of the documentaries and you know uh, youtube you can see that it has to be at least 15 to 20 seconds you should you know clearly the 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 exposure of the virus if it is on your hand the soap must have contact time of about 15 to 20 seconds so contact time is very important it is not like like you just put the soap and then suddenly you are just washing so the contact time has to be sufficient so the contact time of the virus and the soap is important to dissolve this wall of the or capsule of the virus so that is very very important so i said that wear the mask number one why because it will protect the environment so once it is in the environment any unknowingly any person can breathe it in so you are doing a national service by wearing the mask and not letting the virus which probably you may not be knowing from you to others number one number two equally it is important that even if it is in the somebody your friend has already spread it in environment you should protect yourself so then mask is also important that you should protect others from your infection and it is also equally important that you should not get from others by wearing the mask why then second thing i told you that what you should maintain that is the physical distance i preferred the word physical distance not the social distancing so that at least 3 meet 3 feet at least all around your radius you should have so that is very very important and why that i am sure that you know by now the why it is important that why we maintain 1 uh, meter or more than that so that is important third thing is that hand hygiene which is very very important so hand hygiene has no second option but to have to be used and the best option again in hand hygiene how to maintain the soap water soap and water washing and if you are not say for you if you are driving or you are the soap and water is not available then of course you can uh, use the alcohol based hand sanitizers but these days hand sanitizers also many spurious uh, products are coming up so never trust never trust that they are 100% but what is 100% you know definite that is soap and what any soap will do any soap will do so that is very very important then these days it is important that because you are students so then you should have uh, your classes also and therefore avoid the physical presence libraries because most of the libraries are closed but even if you, your libraries are open avoid libraries and don't demand some of our students demanded that you know they should be allowed so please don't demand to your libraries open because they are they can be one of the source of infection so that is important then try to be online and these days there are several platforms for teaching uh, obviously what we are doing this is also never done before and these days almost every uh, single day i am on the uh, computer and either uh, facebook or the uh, webex or the uh go to meeting or the uh, various whatsapp various groups are there so these social media they are being utilized and uh, that is a good thing that you know you are keeping the distance as well as there is no issue of hygiene so that is very very important so try to be online try to talk don't mix up the people and also this is your youngsters it is your duty to teach and counsel your parents and 
family members also they should also maintain i am sure that you know most of you have heard that how people are uh, they are going and they are making you know huge crowds for various processions or mobs or the the the, the uh, vegetable markets so please educate because every youngster and you know college student is a role model for their families and their parents so try to uh, make this uh, appeal to your parents to your families to your relatives now another another point i would like to uh, point out here that also as a youngsters and students it is important that what are to understand that what are three zones red zone orange zone and green zone in these zones uh, your duty becomes very important unfortunately if you are coming from the red zone that is already uh, probably i can say that you have not done your duty as a youngster as a responsible student so now it is a time that you stay at home and do not go out do not mix up with the people but if you are in the brown uh, the orange or the green zone then responsibility is more those i would say those who are in the green zone they must be complimented number one but also their responsibility is very high because they need to maintain like आपकी अगर एक बार 100 परसेंट मार्क्स आ गए तो आपकी रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ज्यादा हो जाती है एम आई श्योर एम आई कट सो दैट इज देयर इन दैट केस आप लोगों ने 100 परसेंट दोज हु आर इन द ग्रीन जोन यू हैव ऑलरेडी एक्वायर्ड 100 परसेंट सो नाउ इट इज योर ड्यूटी दैट यू कंटिन्यू टू मेंटेन 100 परसेंट एंड ऑफकोर्स इट इज ए टफ इट इज नॉट दैट सिंपल टू मेंटेन द हंड्रेड परसेंट एवरी टाइम बट यस यू मस्ट ट्राई and what is the green zone for that understanding you must uh, be you know i would like to tell you that what is the green zone the green zone is that where the no case of corona has yet come that is green zone and you know so far from january to till date these are the green zones and you will be uh, happy to know that you know tripura is the only state as a whole state no case of uh, corona virus so probably tripura has a distinction of course lakshadweep also uh, but that is very tiny but you know full fledged state is the tripura is the only state where there is no case has been reported there are about 12 districts but there are several villages and town areas or panchayats where there are no cases of the corona viruses if you come from any of such district or town area or tehsil your responsibility is very very huge if you are listening this please ask your all village mates that they should restrict any movement coming anybody coming from whosoever but don't allow them don't allow them stop them at boundary because now you have to score 100% this time also for next few uh, months also so that is very very important so no case should come inside which is knowingly or unknowingly somebody sometimes some relatives or anybody might come so that is there is your duty that you should restrict the entry of any unknown person who is not tested now the then is the orange orange is where the, we have seen the cases earlier but for last say for example 10 15 days there is a decline or no case no new case is coming they also they should try like say for example i would say in your language that they are say for example, they score 95% i would say they would also look into their you know future that they can also score 100% so unko bhi green zone mein aane ki koshish karni chahiye and they should also try that no new case comes in i would say that those who are less than 75% means red zone they should also try to at least slowly slowly they should no new case would come and then maybe in next few months or so they should see that they also score 100% that is the green zone and the green zone has you know honorable prime minister has also allowed that these green zone people they can have their own business small small whatever it is construction work or you know civil work or you know uh, manrega work 
so this kind of work they can continue so this is very very important because your economy of your area or your district whatsoever it is it is very important that you remain in the green zone so that you can your economy is not uh, let me tell you that you know the 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 corona epidemic is going to have a huge toll on our economy our psychology our you know international and national relationship so it is a uh, it is not a only disease it is not a doctor's problem like ours it is a social problem it is a you know economic problem it it has huge impact and i think uh, this is uh, very important that you as youngsters or the teachers if there is any you are young generation so you should try and you should uh, you know strengthen the hands of those who are making the policies or those who are leading the prime minister chief minister or minister so whatsoever they are we should all you know try to stand in the hands of you know our governments and we should be helping so just to uh, recap i would say that what you should not do you should not touch or the the things which are coming from somebody else number one that can bring the infection of the coronavirus particularly those people those who are immunocompromised or having any underlying disease they are at very high risk so please care your parents care your relatives those who are aged having any disease like diabetes or a stroke or any similar kind of disease they are at high risk and they need your care and support so mentally psychologically emotionally also they need your support as youngsters your response on your shoulders it is huge responsibility for you so please make distance which is very very important i have explained why distance of at least one meter at least one meter but there is a if there is a wind direction then obviously it can be two meter or three meters so that is very very important hand hygiene i repeatedly said and again i am repeating and then third is of course mass masking so masking is very important you have to contain your breath up to you so no contaminated air should come in the environment you are protecting yourself as well as you are protecting others by masking because it is a barrier and i think uh, this was the time i was given about 30 minutes so if uh, i don't see uh, any if there is any uh, pressing question i can take but otherwise uh, uh, i would thank you very much that uh, you heard it uh, and uh, no major question If any question, you can chat it. Otherwise, thank you very much. Yes. thank you so there is no major questions all are just greetings so thank you very much once again giving the uh, time and if you have any question later on also you can ask thank you thank you all thank you bye